Welcome back, everybody, to Quarantine Cooking, episode 22. We're here in beautiful Gilroy, California. We're here at the Neon Exchange with Tony Bowles behind the camera Hello. there. We want to say hi to Andrea Nicolette at the YMCA. How are you Andrea. doing, Andrea? We miss you. Hope you're doing good out there. Uh, we do have a special guest today. He's uh, somebody, since I've been back, I've been moved back to Gilroy about seven years ago. Ran into him. He was a judge at one of uh, a cooking competition I did. Met him there. Um, we see him all over town, so you can't miss this guy. He's the president and CEO of the Gilroy Chamber of Commerce. We have Mark Turner. Mark, thank hey, you for coming, Mark. Uh, it's my pleasure. I'm looking forward to doing some cooking with Mark and uh, and uh, with the crowd. And the Eminem, audience. Eminem, Eminem. That's exactly right. <laughs> That's right. I love your snazzy tie. Well, thank you. Thought it would go well with yes. the he's always dressed selection to a here. He's always dressed to the tee. I know, right? Super snazzy. You. I've never seen you in a t-shirt, I don't think. Well... He owns them. <laughs> exactly right, right. And he I don't think you're going to see me in t-shirt either, for that matter. Definitely. Well, thank you for coming on the show today, man. We're excited. We have a great... Uh, we're going to be doing a baked swordfish and a soy marinade with a bok choy slaw. Okay. And then we're going to use some of that marinade to make the sauce on top also. You know, a couple of things we want to ask you is how you've been doing since quarantine? What's been going on in your life, business-wise? How is everything? Well, it, it certainly has changed the way we do business. And personally, I mean, my wife and I have, you know, we, we travel a lot on the weekends, but that has sort of come to an end. We started doing a little bit more again here lately, but not nearly as much as we had liked. But uh, from a work perspective, of course, it's been a little bit different because now my staff is working remotely. I still come into the office every day mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's just easier for me to do that. But my staff works remotely. So it's different. You know, it's now trying to connect and make things, you know, happen uh, while they're working from a, a remote location. They're having to make adjustments as well. Mm -hmm. And that's just across the board. Businesses are having to do that. But I think what we're finding is that the remote workforce is going to be here for some time. Yes. And so it does change the way businesses are going to go forward in the future and what that's going to look like as far as their, as far as their staffs are concerned. So, Definitely. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's changed some things that have been more challenging, but it also has caused us to think differently, mm -hmm. which will also be a positive for us as we go forward. Definitely, I definitely agree with you. So, you know, like I said, I uh, met you seven years ago. You were a judge at the chili cook-off. That's did. correct. Over and I won. Yes, I won. Exactly. <laughs> took seven years to get invited on. This <laughs> but here I am. So we're going to get rocking and rolling here, That's you guys. Good. So you want to come a little closer? Okay. We got here today for our slaw. So we have some wonderful cabbage. Uh, we have cilantro, the bok choy. This is not baby bok choy. This is a big bok choy. Okay. It's big boy bok choy. Big, big, big bok choy. <laughs> See that three times fast. <laughs> <laughs> big boy. We have, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> we have some carrots here and some green onions, you guys. That's gonna be for our slaw. We're gonna chop this all up. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna saute it. We're gonna make a nice marinade here. We have our swordfish. Uh, we're ready to rock and roll. Are you ready? Uh, I'm okay. ready. Let's definitely, go. definitely. Let's, do so it. let's start off with the marinade, you guys. We're gonna get this, and everything's a beautiful color pink here. It's I awesome. Like it. it's, it's, awesome. awesome. <laughs> it's a beautiful color. I love it. I love it. So we're gonna start off. We're gonna throw about a tablespoon of each. Yep. We got minced garlic and minced ginger there, you guys. Okay. You can find this at the store really easy. Uh, if you can't find any minced ginger, um, you can find the whole ginger and you use a spoon to peel it off. Okay. Just use a spoon. I should have brought some whole. So I showed you guys. So it's minced ginger, minced garlic. There mm -hmm. you go. But don't mince your words. <laughs> <laughs> Put in French. I love it. He's, a, he's hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. We got a cup of soy. Okay. There we go. And we're going to do about a cup of this uh, avocado, fat flour mix I got here. Got a good flavor to it. How's that smell so far? Oh, How's that smelling? Nice. How's that yeah, smelling? Tell, man. It's going to be a good meal. There we go, almost there. We're gonna do, we do equal parts, cup and cup. You wanna give me a Just little- like tonight. Equal parts of Mark. Equal parts of Mark, M&M, <laughs> M&M. Thank M you, Mark. M my squared. pleasure, my pleasure. Yeah, I see Mark all, in the morning all the time walking. I see him, uh, he's out there the checking, checking out the, the, the town, making sure everybody's good. Usually it's because I forgot my key and I have to walk over <laughs> to my staff members. It happens quite often. <laughs> There you go. How's that going? Looks See good. how the oil's on top? Yep. And the thing with the soy's in the bottom? You gotta move real fast to make those emulsify. There you go. There you go. Oh, we want to emulsify. Emulsify. That's the key to it. Okay. Emulsify. Emulsify means to mix two things that usually do not mix together, like uh, oil and, uh, and vinegar. Uh, vinegar. Okay. So you wanna, what you're doing is making it mix with the heat. Forcing it. With yeah, the and you're forcing it to combine and love each other. 
A lot of love in there. A lot of love right there. There's a love. Look at that. Thank you. Man. Good job. Thank you, sir. He's my sous chef. Love. He's my sous chef today. We're gonna save a little bit. If it doesn't taste good, I'm gonna sue him. Okay, there you go. We're gonna save a little bit for the sauce there. Can you give me the uh, swordfish yeah, in here, absolutely. please? I'll give you some some music playing as I pull this there out. There you go. Just hand it off. Now you don't. Thank you. <laughs> Forget about it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You thought that of me. There Those are really generous sized chunks. Those yes, are big yes. chunks. Oh, well, actually, he, he called me and said, you better give me a big piece. Okay. That's right. Okay. Now, what's funny about fish, right? When you go to the restaurant, you can't get order fish. Mm -hmm. If it tastes like fish, you send it back. <laughs> but when we're eating a steak, we never say, you know, this tastes a little bit like steak a cow. It tastes steaky. It tastes a little cowy to me. Can you send it back? Or pork? <laughs> Tastes kind of piggy. <laughs> so said, I'll take some fish instead. So oh, we're having a good time here. That's exactly right. You're hilarious. Most How was that a, fun while you're cooking? Yes. By the way, did you hear the one about? No. no, no. <laughs> I was at a meeting with him, with him at a, um, a Rotary Club meeting, uh -huh. and he was up there talking. I could not stop laughing. He <laughs> yeah. had me in tears, laughing, wow. crying. Put that I, in the fridge for me. I will do that. Is it going to go? So we did do TV time, you guys. We have some that have been marinating for about an hour. Okay. We're going to pull those out, which is in the other bowl right there, Mark. Okay, you got it. We have our oven on at 350 right now. Okay. Our oven should be at 350, you guys. So take a look at these guys. They've been marinating for about an hour. Can I zoom in here? And do yes. Thank yes. You. Zoom in. Look at that. That's those lovely. aren't as generous a cut as those no. first ones. Those are for me later. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Smell that. That's called the bait and switch. Uh, yes. <laughs> I like it. The old bait and switch, huh? <laughs> so we have the oven on at 350. We're going to place these right here. Just like so. Okay. And we're looking to... And we're going to bake these for, okay. at 350. Gotcha. So we're going to look, we're going to leave them for about eight minutes and we'll take a look at them. At 35 right now, what's eight minutes from 35? Matt quiz. 43. 43, there we go. 43. So we save some for the sauce later. Let me get a little cleanup right there. I'll do your cleanup. Here you go. That's what I'm Best food for. chef ever right, right here. here we go. So here we go. So we're going to start off with our slaw, you guys. Look at this, how beautiful that is. Got some big boy bok choy. Big boy bok choy. So what I do with these is roll them. That's not something you're used to from your <laughs> youth, I assume, right? <laughs> there we go. And all we're gonna do is chop. And you and feel free to use baby bok choy if you want. Okay. That's also real good. Let's get this out of the What's way. What's the here. difference? It's just the size. It's just smaller. Okay. I'm gonna do some bigger pieces there. You like bok choy? I love bok choy. What's your favorite kind of food? Oh, you know what? When I watched the show with Marie, mm -hmm. you guys made tacos. Oh yeah, the potato tacos. Tacos are my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. I love potato tacos. So we're gonna do some cabbage. Okay. All we're going to use is the end right there, the little corner. Feel free to use as much as you want. I, I'm going to leave it a little thick. And what we're going to do with these guys is we're going to cook them down a little bit. Olive oil, cook them down a little bit. Once they're a little sauteed, we're going to add some carrots. Okay. And at the very end, we'll add some cilantro and green onions. Because you don't want these too cooked right here. Okay. So what we're going to turn this on right here. So how long, Mark, how long have you been a chef? Um, I've been cooking... For about 20, about 20 years. Okay. About 20 years, I um, started here. At, uh, are you from Gilroy? I mean, you know Gilroy? I know Gilroy. Pretty good. Uh, Joe's Italian restaurant. Back in the day, it used to be over on 10th Street. Okay, yeah. I started there when I was like 13, washing dishes. and. I was a dishwasher. Yeah, there you go. My first there job. There you go. I knew I liked you for a reason. Then went into making pizzas. <laughs> I was a pizza maker. So we started in the same industry. Yeah. It's Italian food, right? Italian food. Okay. And then I always loved food. I always loved food. So I, uh, at a later age in my, my life, well, I'm still young, but when I was 28, I decided to go back to go to culinary school. Is that about 30 years ago? About 20 years 20, ago. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. And then uh, I went to Cordon Bleu in Austin, Texas, and graduated from there. Oh, okay. And I've just been cooking. Cordon Bleu. Bleu. Was that the name of the school? The Cordon Bleu. Yes. Cordon Bleu. Yes. La Cordon Bleu. Okay, so we're taking the cabbage and the bok choy mix. So here we go. Look at this. We got the cabbage. Okay. Ba not the baby bok choy, big, big boy, boy bok choy. Okay. There we go. Let's cook that down a little bit. And you have a, a little bit of drizzle in that. that yes, yeah, you're looking at about a, uh, uh, two teaspoons okay. of uh, olive oil mixture. Let's go ahead and add some of these carrots because they're a little hard. 
Okay. You do, do you cook at home? No. No? Unless we're talking about toast, cereal, <laughs> something like that. The more complicated, better dishes, typically by my wife. So you like Mexican food, huh? I love Mexican food, yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, Gilroy's really a perfect location, I'm telling you. In fact, that is the actual reason uh, the Chamber of Commerce developed, along with Visit Gilroy, the taco trail. Yes! Oh. We have, I saw that. I mean, what, we have 20-some Mexican restaurants, mm -hmm. so we thought, hey, we'll make a taco trail out of this and begin to promote that. We developed maps, we got people on this on the map, mm -hmm. and this actually has been picked up in Los Angeles and in San Diego, cool. and they're promoting Gilroy's Taco Trail. So it's actually, I think me and Tori need to get her camera, we just need to go to each one. I know, one right? Absolutely, yeah. We're gonna visit each taco trail. Let's go, Tony! Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. So you're gonna have a taco and a beer at each location. Oh, yeah. You might only make it through three or four. <laughs> <laughs> you're driving. Mm -hmm. I'll be the DD. Well, you want to come a little closer here? So right now I have some, uh, some bok choy. What kind of bok choy? Big boy bok choy. Big boy bok choy. I got some cabbage and some carrots, salt, pepper, a little bit of olive oil. Cooking it down a little bit, not too much. Cooking it down. Okay. I love the way you toss that. Oh, thank you. You want to see one more time? Yeah, one more time, one more time. Do you work to try it? I'll do a try. Yeah. Here we go. I dropped Let's a little see. bit out. Okay. Okay, Made so. me nervous. Here we go. Oh, no. It's all in the wrist tag. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell me that. It's all in the wrist. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. How long have you been doing this, sir? About five minutes. <laughs> what do you think? It's kind of a lot, huh? <laughs> Sorry about that. We should have warned you. <laughs> I'm going to cook it down. We're going to check our. Let me get this real quick. We're going to check our swordfish. Needs about. Another five minutes, you guys. Looking about five minutes, still a little, uh, uh, little raw there on top, rare. Okay. Give it about another five minutes. We don't want it to taste like fish. Otherwise, we order the chicken. Right. <laughs> so here we go with the slaw. Come take a look at this. This is what you're looking for. You don't want to cook it down way too much. You don't want to cook it down so that like, it's uh, like this, it's exactly like it's disappearing. So right there, okay. and as you can see, I did not add a lot of salt and pepper. The reason for that is because the soy sauce oh. that we're using is very salty, high in sodium. Okay. So we don't want to put salt onto salt. It would be, it'll just be awful. Okay. So what we're going to do right now is add some cilantro, and I have some green onions. Add some green onions there. Okay. And you can get all this at the farmer's market in Gilroy with Sal. Okay. And where is that farmer's market? It is at the church. It is at the uh, Presbyterian Church, mm -hmm. located along Santa Teresa, mm -hmm. right over there near as you're driving towards Gavilan College. And as for Sal, he'll take care of you over there. Yes. You had you had Sal on your on your show, huh? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yes. We do it uh, every week. We do a White Gilroy segment, mm -hmm. and Sal was on that. We interview various uh, businesses here in Gilroy, mm -hmm. and Sal was a part of that. Yeah. So tell me, Mark, what is going on with um, the efforts that the Chamber has behind um, supporting small businesses as we move through COVID and, and hopefully out of SIF? Yeah, I appreciate that question. You know, the challenge that we're facing right now is California is in the red tier, which is mm -hmm. tier two. And in that tier, uh, restaurants are allowed to be open, right. places of worship, movie theaters. However, in Santa Clara County, because when there's a difference between what the state allows and what your county allows, the more stricter mm -hmm. of the two applies. And so Santa Clara County is much more strict. Now get this, out of 51, uh, there's 50 states plus Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. California, of, of those that are the most strict in their guidelines with regard to reopening their economies, California is 50 out of 51. Only Hawaii is more strict than California, oh, but wow. Santa Clara County mm -hmm. is more strict than the state of California. So uh, the Gilroy Chamber is part of the Silicon Valley Coalition of Chambers. I'm the co-chair for that. We represent 18 chambers of commerce in and around Silicon Valley. Mm -hmm. And we have been trying our best to apply pressure on our county leaders, including our supervisors, uh, Dr. Smith, who's the CEO of the county, and Sarah Cody. We had a press conference several weeks ago, a lot of press coverage on that. One of our chambers coordinated sort of a peaceful protest on the steps mm -hmm. of the county. We ended up having 30 or 40 businesses call into the Board of Supervisors telling their story. And as we go forward, we now have the faith community involved in this effort as well. And we're gonna be, going to be, Monday, we're gonna send out some information. What we'd like to see is 
combined with the faith community, the business community also sending in uh, emails, which will provide all of that for our community. We'd like to see more than a thousand emails hit our Board of Supervisors uh, inbox. And then after that, we're going to be coordinating uh, three to 500 businesses and churches calling into the Board of Supervisors mm -hmm. meeting on October 5th, letting them know how, how much this shutdown is, is killing our local businesses mm -hmm. and, and, and churches. And then after that, we, uh, if we're not seeing any movement there, we will be organizing a protest mm -hmm. uh, to go up to, in San Jose and, and, and peacefully and safely protest. Mm -hmm. We hope these efforts will help to get our businesses open. Our restaurants have got to get open mm -hmm. before we get into the fall and winter mm -hmm. months. Uh, otherwise, they're going to have a difficult time uh, even surviving. And of mm -hmm. course, our movie theater, uh, who, you know, just before COVID hit, he was prepared to open. He's had to pivot now and he's doing um, outdoor drive in movies. I, I heard that. Yeah. Awesome. No, yeah. and it's going great. And he's doing a good job with that. And so, but again, as winter rolls mm -hmm. in, that is all going to come to an end. And so these businesses have to get open and begin doing business. So that mm -hmm. we have spent a lot of time working on that in order to get our economy up and going again. Well, thank you so much for all that effort. And where can we follow you if we wanted more information or we wanted to just look up how we become a member? Absolutely. You can always uh, you can go online and email the chamber. Uh, you can email me, mturner, at gilroy.org. Okay. Uh, and we can get you all the information you need if you're looking for more information as to how you can participate uh, and be a part of this effort to get our businesses open. Uh, we will be, again, if you want to call or, or email me at the chamber, we'll get you on the distribution list. We send out weekly e-newsletters and we send out a lot of other things too. You'll get all of that, but it'll be helpful for you to stay uh, up to date on the things that the chamber is doing yes. and some information that could be helpful to you. It is very helpful being on those newsletters because it's almost like a um, Cliff Notes version of all the things that you need to know right. because you're sifting through so many sources of information and news pieces. Exactly yeah. right. Yeah, and of course now you'd asked earlier how, how have we done things differently because mm -hmm. of the, the shelter in place. And obviously we've not been able to do the numerous events that we do on mm -hmm. an annual basis, but we have really begun focusing our efforts in advocacy, mm -hmm. where we have this year alone uh, taken a position on over 24 bills coming out of the state legislature, because they either, if they positively affect our local economy, we support them, but if not, we will oppose mm -hmm. them. And so we've been very active. We've lobbied the governor on a number of different bills. Mm -hmm. We've been talking to the state, state boards uh, in order to get you know, the, uh, the barbershops open and, and salons and that sort of thing. So we've been very active this year in, in, uh, in the area of uh, political action. Well, thank awesome. you for everything you do. I really yes. appreciate thank it. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Yeah. And if anyone's out there, you're looking for somewhere to go eat, support Gilroy, support your local yeah. community. Yep. Um, I like to say we've got a campaign yeah. that talks about stay loyal, stay local, support Gilroy. There that's you go. Awesome. Thank you. That's awesome. So let's finish up over here. We have our sauce. Our marinade's uh, heating up very nice and bubbling. We're gonna make a slurry. Have you ever made a slurry? I've made a slurry. Let me take a look at this. <laughs> Not the same thing. Flour, water. The slurpy? <laughs> <laughs> Flour, water. That's it. We don't need this much. It's a very little bit. It's only a little bit of sauce. And this is a thickener. It's gonna make your sauce thick. You can use cornstarch, um, flour. Yeah. Every time I go out to eat, I, I go local, local guys. I thought you were gonna say you take some of that with you. <laughs> I said, sure. What you're doing with that? There we go, just a little bit. Let me see. And just a little bit. There we go, no thick enough. And, and then you whisk it. Whisk it, and... and what's the reason for making it thicker? It'll make the sauce thicker. Okay. So that when you put it as a sauce, it's just kind of runny. Got it. It okay. drizzles and coats better. Yes, exactly. And there we go, look at that. And a bing, bada, boom. Is it to too boiled? Is it bada, boom, bada, bing? We do a Mexican, okay. so we do it different. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get, check out the swordfish, you guys. Are you already mm, look at that. Good. Wow. Oh my God, it smells amazing. Look at that. Oh my God, mm. take a whip for take that. that in. It hasn't lost its um, thickness too. No, I was, I was kind of. No. That is, you think it was yeah, sweet? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not a lot of fat in this. Oh, okay. It's not, not a lot of fat at all, so that's why it's going to keep it, its texture. It's going to be all protein, all protein there. So we're going to play it up real quick and we'll be right back. Here we go, you guys. I got it. Here we go. Hey, we're back, everybody. And while we were on the break. <laughs> he just took over. While we were he on is the a break, mark. we were talking and uh, Mark had mentioned the fact that he is writing a book. 
Yes, I actually have a ghostwriter, uh, Charlene Rivera. How are you doing out there? Thanks, uh, and, and the book is about your life and about cooking. Is yeah, right? it's actually so the title be a... is, hey, hey, what's cooking good looking? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's a good or one. So, golden brown and delicious. GBD. Ooh, golden ooh. brown and delicious. I like it. That's a good so one. So what's the book going to be about? Uh, it's going to be a life st story. It's going to be my life journey. Um, how I became a chef. Uh, uh, it's going to start off, you know, with my family. We grew up with migrant workers growing up in the fields, um, and all the all the trouble and tribulation I have to go through to to get where I am now right. in my life. You know, everything that I've been through and. And within each chapter, we're going to be having um, recipes from that that pertain to that chapter. Got it. You Got know, it. So, so it sounds like there's going to be a lot of ingredients in this book. A lot of ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Uh, I might throw a little spice thing in there. Uh, so do it. Do it, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so, so it'll be coming out soon, you guys. So just uh, take a look. I'll give you a tool back. Thank you. There you Thank go. you. We're ready. Okay, here we Thank go. Thank you. So here we go. We have our swordfish. Bake for about, what, a good 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, Nice marinade, has a soy, ginger, a garlic in there, salt, no salt, actually a little bit of pepper. Okay. And that was, I love the smell of that. Oh, it smells okay. great. And taste even We better. have our wonderful slaw here, which we, we sauteed. Mm -hmm. You see how you can still look at, you can still see what each thing is. It's not okay. all, just all put together and gooey. There we go. We're going to do this. It's all about the presentation. Yes, always, it is. Always, always. There we go. It's a wall of bok choy. A wall of bok Big boy <laughs> bok choy. Pay for it. <laughs> the great wall of bok choy. <laughs> the great wall of bok choy. There we go. Oh, it looks good. All right. And we're going to finish off with our sauce, which is the marinade we used for it. Okay. And all we did was thicken that with a little bit of, uh, with a little slurry. Is it emulsify? It is emulsify. It's a key to it. There we go. <laughs> mm. yeah, there we go. And we're gonna put a little bit of garnish. Nice. We'll get different garnishes. There we it's go. It's a raining cilantro. Nice. There you go. Dish. Bada bing, bada boom. We have our wonderful soy marinated swordfish with our sauteed bok choy slaw, you guys. So we're gonna have Mark Turner try it out and let us know what he thinks. Okay. If you go, Mark Turner, you gotta let me know if it's a thumbs up or thumbs down. Oh, let's Definitely. give it a try. Let me know what okay, you think. Very good. Here we go. Oh, that looks good, nice and juicy still. Confident it will not taste fishy. You got to get some of the cabbage in there too. Oh, come on now, come on now. Come on, I got to do the big boy bok choy. Like a rookie and here. I'm trying. It's so flaky, the fish is uh, just falling apart. Yeah, that marinade definitely tenderized it a little bit. Yeah, I'll say. Okay, here we go, ready? Mm. That is a fine dish right there. Thumbs up, my friend. Or a fine dish. <laughs> Thumbs up. Good Thank, job. You, Thank, Thank you, Mark. Thank you so much. So here we are, episode 22, you guys. We had our swordfish. Came out delicious. Mark Turner, we appreciate you coming out here My today. My pleasure. Thank well, you. I don't know what to do here. We'll I'm telling you, we're losing it, you guys. We're losing it here. Uh, but I do want to say a couple of things. We, I, I did have uh, two dear friends lose some family members this weekend. Uh, definitely Gilroy natives. Uh, we had Marta Vasquez and Freddy Medina to the Medina family, the Vasquez family. Uh, our prayers are with you guys. Mm -hmm. And they're definitely my family also. So we'll see you guys next week. Have a safe weekend and stay cool out there. It's going to get hot, you guys. Bye. Bye.